We are currently in our settings tab under general. And as we mentioned in a prior video, the bottom item is checked. And what that means is that we require a digital signature to be keyed onto the disclaimer document as your users enter for the very first time. That signature will be burned onto the document and it will be hosted on CapLink until such time as you close out your workspace. Let's go into the Manage Disclaimers tab now. What I'd like to do here is add a new disclaimer document. So I'll click New Disclaimer. And as in other areas of the platform, we can simply drag and drop the file into here. I have one called Confidentiality Admins. I'll release that and the upload begins and is complete. Now what I can do is assign disclaimers to users. Clicking the gray button, this shows me the documents that we have available. Download Disclaimer Sample and Confidentiality Admins. I have three administrators, James, Alan, and Greg. If I wanted to, I could select the Confidentiality Admins and assign that to them. They're going to see this specific document every time they enter the workspace. Arnold and Dan are my current users within the platform, and as you can see, they're set to see the default document as they come into CapLink. If I wanted to, I could select any of these users as well, deselecting the top two, and determine that I want them to see none, and that's done. So you have a lot of options available within assigning these documents or assigning no document at all. Let me return to Manage Disclaimer, and from here, I'll just point out that the top line is checked currently, and what this means is that every time somebody comes into the workspace, they do need to see and acknowledge that document. They only need to sign it, though, on the first occasion, since under, under the General tab, we have Require Signature on the Workspace Disclaimer.